Alright, this is the next part of FTL. Uh, we're back. Uh, it was a little bit of a technical difficulty due to someone we're going to keep unnamed. Uh, actually, I feel like we should shout his name into the skies. Rick! Damn it. Dang it. I said dang it. He does everything wrong. I mean, everything wrong that happens to us is Rick's fault. Anyways, I... uh, there's there's one. <laughs> the what? Fumbuckers. Fumbuckers. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. I'm also easy. Wait. What? Well, that. Okay, right. hold on, hold on. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing Rebel Fleet can catch you. Tip choices. Result of most choices have multiple outcomes. You can never be sure what will happen, just like life. Right. Where are you going to put me? Alright, so... I think I'll have you in weapons. Yeah. I'm a terrible pilot. I'll go into shields. So we're going to put Rick on this job. We have to assume that he can steer in open space. Remember what happened last time we let Rick drive? <laughs> we ended up in that ditch in Mexico. Oh my god. We were going to Alaska, of all places. Right. Okay, well, we anyways, don't need cameras. you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. A do bunch we of cyborgs. demand the surrender of their goods, or do we avoid them completely and just keep going? No way. We we need some treasure. Oh, look, they're part of the rebel. They prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight, and they're powering up their FTL drive. I didn't even get to read that. You might want to put that on yeah. the Just going to put that up. Oh my god, that thing's... This is this looks already tough. Holy Man, you just crap! Gang bang by everything on his ship. So uh, they weren't <laughs> really fit for uh, combat, were they? No. 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 They were. They were transport. Oh, good! A firebomb. You searched the ship and discovered that its cargo was new military grade weaponry. Oh, sounds like some kind of cargo ship. It was right. somehow undamaged in the fight and can now easily be mounted on the ship. Weapon. Fireball. Right. That's what we needed. A weapon. The ship's on fire, Donovan. In the oxygen? You send the human to put out the fire. Well, that's the cool thing with the uh, NG. They have uh, nanos. Uh, it heals on the ship. Yeah, very small amounts. Anyways, let's get back to our game. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We do not know who you are, and we do not care. But this is right place for some ship repair. That supposed Ooh, to be a poem. See, bro, link, right there. Right, right then and there. Some poetic aliens. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Reject their offer. Too bad. We will regret this decision, or you will regret this. No, decision. they will. <laughs> they will. They will regret this. I was just. Uh, foreshadowing like William Shatner, not William Shatner. Stargate. I just realized I have the, uh, I have enough power. The ship explodes, leaving behind a subcell container of useful scrap material. Of substantial, by the way. I'm trying to rush through that before you click it. They say explore every beacon, but they don't give you any time to. The rebels you arrived at Long fast. Range Beacon. When the FTLL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. We continue. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the asteroid field or too oh, yeah. dangerous. We discover uh, the remains of a ship embedded into the asteroid. It still has some functional missiles. And 22 scrap. I think that's what the missiles were. To the distress beacon. Oh, yeah. Let me guess, is it a trap? Ooh, no! Let's see. You locate the source of a distress call. A nearby human mining colony, an unknown disease has spread virtually among the workers. They are trying to set up quarantine to migrate the spread of disease, but lack any enforcement and riot seems likely. 1. Send your crew in to control the crowds. 2. Ignore the request and move on. 3. NG crew, send your NG in to calm down the infected. 
however they do that. The NG is a uh, cyborg, so I don't think they can get infected by an organic disease. Ah, right. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Claimed by the extensive knowledge about human philosophy, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that the cure will be found soon. The colony leaders offer a word for helping the to befriend an ugly incident. I went completely from like that voice and just trying to make it through that paragraph. <laughs> now, why are you going? Because we can just jump to the FTO. We might get some FTL. treasure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get treasure. A freaking Zoltan ship. Uh, Upon completing your jump, you receive a message. Greetings, welcome to our beacon. We'll let you on your way. KFB. We've already been through this. Right. Oh, yeah, this seems a little similar to what happened last time. Some epic fight music. Robot appears to be taking out Medbay. Uh, what a good. Seriously! Hunter, you have clearly bested us. We merely accept our. Ah, we merely request our lives. Accept our offer. We will not accept surrender. Yeah. We were attacked by them. We didn't want to pay the toll. They have to pay the toll. They don't pay no toll, they don't get no roll. <laughs> the ship explodes, leaving behind us some sand. We've already been through this. <laughs> I feel like we've been going through the same thing. Now, we will jump to the civilian sector or the NG control sector. I feel like we're friends with the NG. Right. I'm currently NG anyway, so yeah, let's go for it. Different map layout this time. I've never seen that in a while. No, you have large. We don't need to read. do that. You have arrived in a sp NG space. The fall of Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. So, what happened to the creators of the NG? Is my question. I'm not entirely sure. I think I think it's like are they like years of experimentation on their own bodies. Ah. I think it's like one of those like I think it's like a Terminator kind of thing. Like, no wait, Terminator was a robot first. I guess I'm really hoping to find a shop soon. We're, it's it's the, the same thing. We're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. reject their offer. And you will regret this decision. Oh no, so scared. Take out shields again. Why don't we just put a fireball? Because it's it only does physical damage to crew members. Yeah, but it lights crap on fire. To crew members. Burn. To the distress. Aww. Our doors are broken. Doors don't need repair. Yes, they do. You know what I just realized? What you just There's realized? There's no bathroom on the ship. I'm pretty sure they just pee out an airlock. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a whiz. Wait. <laughs> it's freeze, man. Just look at Frick floating around in space. Right. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress call, unanswered, attacked by pirates or Manti, most likely. These may be some left alive, or else something of value left on board. Do we board it, or do we ignore it? And these are, this is one of those odd moments. We might find a survivor, Or we that's... can trust the space spiders. Hmm. Oh, good. You don't have anything to You don't have anything to combat it. I'm not, I'm not combat specified. I'm attacking. Oh, Look at that, no teleporter. Nice, you got lucky. Watch, it's probably like a slug and a, an envy on the ship anyway. If you can't tell, I'm also putting out an album of yawns to lull you to sleep. So, I mean, oh, that's, yeah. that's coming out like August 26. So, make sure to reserve a copy. Oh, man. You also get a coupon if you buy the, the sniffle one. The sniffle one? I had to think about it for a second. August 24th? Oh, oh. There's a fire. Fire! It's burning, Donovan! Oh, I don't good, care about the drone parts, there's a fire! Faster! Oh my god, we're on fire! Faster! You know an easy way to do it? Dude! So, I'm at like three quarters hell. Yeah? Yeah, just gonna put that out there. Why did they choose for a space vessel the most awkward shape? Well, I mean, it's they're all cyborgs, though. They they piece this thing together. We'll remain concealed. Read by rare sight, a mantis ship that appears not to have noticed you. We'll, we'll try to remain. You power down on essential systems, wait for the FTL drive to charge. They either don't want to fight or have failed to notice your ship. I can't read right now for some reason. Mr. Booga. It's an amazing name. 
I love the auto-generated names.